Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. We're not off to a very good start because this lake I wanted to fish right here is frozen, but it's not totally frozen. I mean, out there in the middle, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all open water. But just on this shoreline for about 60, 70 yards is ice. And it's not super thick ice, but it's thick enough. Let's see if I can actually stand on it. Look at those minnows swimming down there. All right, well, I'm putting about, I'm putting all my body weight on it right now and it's holding. Oh, it's cracking. Guys, like there's tons of minnows swimming around down there. I don't even know what they are. They're just like little fathead minnows or something. Ooh. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, can you guys see that little minnow right there? Oh, look at that. How'd he get out there? What is that? Hey, hey, come over here, buddy. Come over here, buddy. What are you? What in the world? What in the world? Huh, what is that, guys? It looks just like some kind of shiner or something. Just some kind of generic minnow chub thing. There's tons of them down there, all swimming in between these rocks. We'll let this little dude go. He'd probably make for some pretty good live bait. Oh, get down there, buddy. Get down there. Oh, well, ugh, we might have a fatality here, boys. Oh, look at all those minnows. Whoa. Just lifted up this rock. Look at all those little guys. Let's see if we can catch one with our bare hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's another one. Just another little chub thing. There he goes. So my goal today, folks, was to catch a pike. There's lots of pike in this reservoir, and I wanted to get one to cook up. Since it's really cold, pike usually bite in colder weather, which is why I decided to come here. So I think fishing this portion of the lake is out of the question. The ice is too thin to ice fish and there's too much ice to, you know, throw a lure. But if we come over to this side, just over this little road right here, we have another little pond that connects to the main lake, kind of a little drainage pond. And since there's water moving in and out of these pipes right here, there's no ice. I mean, there's some ice right over there. And since there's moving water, I think this is gonna be a really good spot for fish to stack up. All right, guys, so we're rocking the old ugly stick with eight pound line today, which I know is pretty much the last thing you'd use for pike, but hey, it, it works. I've caught pike using this setup before, so we're all good. All right, so what do we have for pike? We have marabou jigs, which I could see working. We have Rapalas, spinner, cast master. I think you guys already know it. Buddy, what in the world? After seeing all those minnows down there especially, I guarantee that's what all these fish are feeding on. And this is pretty much the most perfect representation of a minnow you can have. Whew. All right, folks, rigged up with the old Rapala. Let's just come down here. All right, so it looks like this is the outflow. So the water's going this way underneath the pipe. So I'm gonna be casting against the current. Right here in this little channel is where I assume there's gonna be some fish. All right, first cast of the day. Let's see if we can get a first cast pike. Let's see. Little update for you guys. Been fishing for about 30 minutes. But what I'm kind of figuring out is right here by this pipe, it's actually quite a bit deeper than the rest of this pond. It's probably like three feet just right here and everywhere else is like not even a foot. So I figure if I'm gonna catch a fish right here, it's gonna be right here by this little outflow because this is where it's the deep water. So I'm just casting right in front of this pipe and bringing it back as slowly as I can. Oh, got a stick. Well, it's something. Wrong species, wrong size, but we're getting somewhere. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Probably just a leaf, but that definitely felt fishy. Fish on. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I got him. I knew it. Little pike, check it out. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. I knew that there was gonna be a fish right there. I refused to believe there wasn't a fish. Well guys, it definitely took a while, but we got it. Little baby pike, really, really tiny guy, and it kind of sucks because I like he swallowed that trouble. It's in his gill and in his eye and he's bleeding a little bit. So I don't know if this guy is gonna make it. So I'd rather just take this guy home and cook him even though he's not that big. And I think you're allowed to keep like, I don't even know, like half a dozen, a dozen or something like that. So there's definitely no shortage of these fish in here. So I think we're gonna take this guy home and uh, just fry him up whole. All right, after a little surgery, we got the hook out. He is dead. So there we go little pike we're gonna cook them up i've never eaten a fish this small at least for a species like this that is cool all right guys let's get another one that can't be the only one right here i knew if i just kept dragging this rapala right past this little deep spot right there i'd get bit oh this looks really nice right here so I found this little beachy area right here on the other side of the lake. There's no ice, so that's good. And I figured I was just gonna take that pike home to cook it, but it's a beautiful night. There's no wind at all. So we just gotta cook right here on the shore. And while we're doing that, we're gonna toss out a fishing line. I've got right here a little egg sinker with a swivel, with a little bit of leader, down to a big glob of worms. I don't want them to swallow it, so it's a pretty big hook. I don't think there's many fish down there big enough to swallow this whole hook, but you never know. set it right there so I loosen the drag all the way so if I do get a fish we'll know we'll be able to hear it all right guys time to clean this little guy he's so tiny <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about this so obviously we're not gonna fillet him because I mean we'd get like no meat off of them and the last time I cooked a pike I had a bunch of you guys tell me that I was doing it wrong because when you fillet pike you pretty much have to cut out a huge section of the fillet to get rid of the Y bones but since this guy is so little if we did that we'd literally get like a fork full of meat nothing too crazy in the guts just looks like a bunch of bugs so now I'm just de-sliming and descaling him because pike are literally some of the slimiest fish you can ever have and I'm gonna try to get some of these scales off because we're gonna try eating the skin look at all those scales they just come right off all right and there we go little pike all cleaned out scaled de-slimed ready to be put on the pan all right guys so I found this big flat rock that we can cook on nice and stable we have all our cooking stuff laid out we have our pike first thing we need to do is turn our burner on Start by throwing a little butter in. All right, we'll start by throwing down a layer of some seasoned salt. Pike going in. And we also have some dill weed. This looks like blades of grass, pretty much. Still no bite on the worms. Uh, it's been out there for like 30 minutes and it hasn't even got so much as a sniff. Meanwhile, this pike is looking good. I'll go ahead and flip them over. Mmm. That honestly looks kind of appetizing. Look at that, nice golden brown. We're gonna season this side too. There we go guys, finished product. Doesn't look half bad. Would you serve it at a restaurant? No, but for a drainage pond pike, this doesn't look too bad. Smells pretty good, so. All right, so pike are extremely, extremely bony. That looks pretty good. Looks like we left some of those bones right there. This should be a boneless piece. All right, baby pike. Wow, that is good. I'm digging that. Skin and all. I really like that. 
Oh, I might have accidentally just swallowed a bone. Here comes another one. Okay. So, yeah, can you guys see those? Little Y bones. So, with a pike this small, I mean, I don't think it's too big a deal because you don't really notice the bones, but they can kind of be a hassle. Other than that, if you can find a good boneless piece, like right there, I mean, I think this is boneless. We'll just have to chew slowly, but the flavor's really good. I have to say, I've eaten pike three times in my life, and all three times it's really good, but I think this is the best one. I don't know if I just cooked it the right way. I don't know if it's because he's young and tender, but gosh dang, that is some good fish right there. And I'm not just saying that. So this top portion, that's where all the Y bones are. This lower portion with the rib cage bones, you can just peel the meat right away from the rib cage and you should be good. But with this top, top meat right here, it looks boneless. There are a few Y bones hidden throughout there. So you just gotta be careful with chewing. Make sure you don't swallow a bone. Other than that guys, really, really good. You can cook pike whole. You know, it's definitely not the best method. Ideally you wanna fillet them and then there's a way where you can literally just cut out like a whole third of the fillet to get rid of those Y bones. But since this fish is so small, we weren't really able to do that. Still no bite on the worms. I'm watching very closely. I'm thinking it's just getting too late in the year for catfish especially. I think the catfish have kind of just slowed their metabolism down. Not really active. But the pike should be out there. So there's the entire rib cage. So guys, if you ever catch a pike, definitely keep it and definitely cook it. Pike is probably one of my favorite fish. Behind trout and salmon, I would say pike is number three. Or maybe this one was just so good because it was so little. That That is the case with a lot of fish. The younger they are, the smaller the fish is, the better they taste. Because once a fish gets old, it just gets really fatty and it's not very good. This is probably one of the better ones I've had. And I don't know if it was because it's so small or what, but I like it. All right guys, before we end the video, we're gonna try to catch another fish. So we're back at that spot where we caught that other one and hopefully there's been enough time for a new fish to move in. Cause I'd love to end the day off with a decent sized pike. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. We didn't end up catching another fish, but that's okay. Cause at least we got one today and anytime I catch a pike, it's a good day. And he tasted absolutely delicious. If you guys haven't had pike, highly recommend it. It's actually a very, very good fish. Like I said, one of my favorites. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, go down there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.